Anyhow, we're at the um, raised bed today, Susan, and you're going to be talking about watering. Watering. Now, it seems a bit daft when it's just chucked it down last night, but yeah. in the summer, sometimes it's continuously dry for a long time. One of the best things you can do uh, for watering and to maintain the sort of water in the soil for your veg is loads of organic matter. So right. it acts like a sponge and then it releases the water slowly when the roots are looking for it. Okay. So if you have a very light soil, plenty of organic matter will hold the water in. And if you have a heavy clay soil, which can set hard when it, you know, baked yeah. in the yeah. top. Um, one of the things with the heavy clay soil is A, plenty of organic matter, which will also we'll loosen, it, loosen up. it up and retain moisture. But the other thing you can do is to hold the surface, break up that sort of hard pan on top, which actually attracts the moisture from below and then releases it as evaporation. Oh, does it? Yeah. Oh, so wow. to hold the top of a heavy clay soil, well, not only um, is it sort of breaking up that pan and helping to stop the evaporation, but it's also getting rid of the weeds, which are competing for the water. Yes, of so course. So a good sharp hoe in the garden is one of the best things you can have. Right, and listen, um, when you talk about organic matter now, what sort I'm of organic about would you be talking about? Manure, your uh, compost you've made yourself, okay. your leaf mould, that kind of thing. Yes, okay. And okay. the other thing you can do to keep moisture in, like you would do with your raspberry plants, is to mulch with your glass, grass clippings or something like that. Oh, could you do that? Yeah, but the thing you've got you to be careful... You need to let them die off first. Well, no, you, you can do them sort of fresh on your raspberries and things, but the thing to do is not to use them if you've used a selective weed killer on your lawn. Oh, yeah, okay. Because that's going to be a, a problem. Okay, okay. And the other thing about watering, when you are watering, is not to come out every evening and just give an idle sort of sprinkle over the surface, because that doesn't actually get down to the roots. It encourages the roots of the plant to be up near the surface to look for the water up there. Okay. So what you want to do is give the ground a good soaking every, if it's very dry, every three days. If you're getting a certain amount of rain, obviously not as often as that. And you need it to get to the roots of the plant, so it's a good soaking. They reckon something between 10 and 15 litres to the square metre. Right, now, which is a lot of water, by the well, way. Well, it is and it isn't. I mean, if you I mean, think, I'm trying if you to think take my big watering can is, what, four litres? Two gallons, so eight litres. Eight litres. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. But if you think, if you have a row of things, it's not mm. a whole, it's not a square metre. It's only probably less than half a square metre oh, if yes, you have okay. a row of something. Oh, okay. okay. So you're giving that and getting the water to the roots. Right. Um, you can use all sorts of sprinklers on hose pipes, but mm. I'm never very keen on that because I think the water is going everywhere. And well, you know, water costs well. now. So mm. like for everybody, you have to yeah. conserve your water. And if there's a hose pipe mm. ban, if there's a drought, mm. you're better to come out with your can or the hose on lightly and just go down the base of each Well, of each course, plant. Susan, you know, when you're talking about hoeing there, don't you need a good... Um, well, yeah, this is a very old hoe, but you do need one with a good you need, blade yeah, on Yeah, and it. I've noticed yours, like the one I would have now is as blunt as anything. Like, even just doing... Like, that's unbelievable now in yeah. comparison to you the one... Good my hoe. old one that I have, which is blunt. Mm. But that's... It's a good tip, isn't it? Oh, yeah. It's well, one of the most well, useful tools, I think, in the Well, garden. watch out at Gardenville, because Gardenville will have their own hoe. So um, you'll be able to get that on, on the site with the shop where you can have something that's well, you know, sharpened yeah. up. And it's, yeah, that's good. it's a good tool. Yeah. yeah, that's amazing. I can't get over that. Oh, yeah. And nice then you're creating the water rises so to the, the water, top. So the water, if it's a baked pan on top of clay soil, apparently the water rises it's very up by this yeah. and then it evaporates without being any use to the plant. Oh, it's so natural, so it's isn't all, it? Yeah, well, absolutely. I suppose, yeah. Nature. Nature, exactly, nature.